welcome to Miss Uptime Emporium. I'm Joni and today we'll be taking a delightful walk through the Shadowscapes Tarot. Now the Shadowscapes Tarot was first published in 2010 I believe. Um, it's artwork by Stephanie Law and Stephanie is one of my favorite artists. She just does these wonderful otherworldly other than non-human um, designs that are truly, truly magical. So this is a reprint, let's see. I think this is a 220, a 2020 um, reprint. Let's see, yeah, a first edition 11th printing 2020. So it's a few years old, but um, again, I think this is one of the prettiest decks and one of the most magical decks that I have. It's um, when you want to connect with the Fae, this is a wonderful way to do it. And, you know, I have my mother to thank, my Irish mother, um, to thank for always teaching us to believe in the other than humans and to leave offerings and that their world was as real as our world. So here's, it's a nice, thick bound book and um, a description of each of the cards so it's very helpful it doesn't go into the specifics of why certain things are um, shown in the car but it's, it's a good little book and it just comes in a box like this it says, surrender to the fantastical world of your deepest dreams, where butterflies float upon shifting mists set aglow by the rising sun, a place where twisting branches arc across shimmering skies, willowy fairies dance on air, and tree spirits sing from a hollowed oak. Delve into the shadows of your dreams and awaken to truth. Beautiful. And then at the end of the video, just because I love... Um, okay, I'm just going to tell all of you that are faint of heart that never want to see animal hair. This is the wrong channel for you because I have a white dog and she's part husky and there's always a Ella blessing on everything we look at. <laughs> anyway, at the end of the video, I'm going to walk through. This was a Kickstarter campaign of Stephanie's and she created this beautiful book. It's a wonderful gorgeous magical book so we're gonna look at that at the end so I'm just gonna move it out of view for now let it collect a little more hair <laughs> that's what everything in our world does and then we'll start taking a look at this deck now I don't know if the camera's picking it up there's a lot of it's another overcast day here but this is a metallic silver border and it's a nice thin border, which is, I really appreciate. And um, a lot of people cut the borders off, but I really, I really like the silver metallic border. Uh, her images do contain a lot of detail. So it's well worth it to really meditate on these cards and really go in and see everything that's happening here. There's little butterflies, little bees, there's little beings that are hidden in here, you know, uh, all kinds of things. So this is a deck that is very magical, particularly for me at the springtime of the year when everything's starting to come in, into full life again. And um, I just love sitting with these cards. They're just magical. And it is a fully illustrated deck. I know it's going to seem like I'm going through a little quickly because there's so much to see, but images are readily available online. This deck um, has been mass produced. So the deck, um, you know, you kind of have to pay attention to what edition you're getting just to, to, you know, to get the kind that you want because, as I said, there's an edition where the images are larger. I think it's a Czech edition and people get that deck and then cut all the borders off. But I actually really like having the titles on these cards. They're, they're small enough, they're non-invasive to the images. And 
you know, again, these images are non-traditional. So were I to cut this off, I don't, I would have to learn that this was the Hierophant. I wouldn't necessarily, necessarily intuit that that's what that card was. But again, just there's complete worlds that she creates that are so luscious and are inclusive of many creatures, which I really appreciate, especially when it's the fairy realm. This is a, you know, a regular, I would say, let's see who produces this. I think this is a Llewellyn. Yeah, it's kind of standard Llewellyn stock. So, you know, it shuffles easily in that kind of thing. This is one of the decks. It's not in heavy rotation for me, except at this time of the year. I like my decks to have the feel energetically of the season that we're in. And I have a Hawthorne branch. So my fairy decks sit at the base of the Hawthorne branch. And then I have a nice little fairy stone over there so that when my decks aren't in use, they feel at home under the Hawthorne branch. I think that's a gorgeous, gorgeous death card. Absolutely stunning, as are all these images. Don't be afraid to pick up used decks. I just, when I receive, if I purchase a used deck, I smudge around every card with a little cleanse and purify incantation. I cleanse the book, I cleanse the case. And by doing that, I bond with each of the cards and the deck becomes mine. Again, some of the, the prettiest images I've ever seen in tarot cards. Each and every one a delight. Each and every card feels like a little story. So unless you're an intuitive reader, I would say that this is probably not a good first deck, a new, you know, a beginning deck for beginning, someone who's just beginning to read Tarot, unless you're a completely intuitive reader, because it will take a little while, I think, to connect to the standard messages. You still get the same feel, but it's it's a different energy. You know, the Eight of Wands in a traditional deck is kind of not really illustrated and it's got that movement to it. And here, you know, you have the movement but it's different, and if you know you didn't know the tarot, you might not recognize it. I'm going through this um, flip through slower than I normally do. Just again, there's so much to take in in these images. I really want you to get a feel for this deck because the color tone, tones change with the suit. So the wands are this lovely golden russet color. And then we go into the blues for the cups. Cups and mermaids, merpeople. Oh, I should show the back of the card. Sometimes I forget. That's the back of the card. Really pretty, fully reversible. The 
back of the cards are important to me. If um, if there's an off-putting back design on the card, I, I won't purchase the deck. It's amazing to me how connected to all of these realms that Stephanie is. It's, it's like she's translating these realms for us through her artwork. It's a lovely light energy. So the swords are the purple tones. Beautiful Eight of Swords. I mean, all the cards are beautiful. <laughs> they really, truly are. You know, a lot of decks, there'll be a couple of cards that I'm like, mm, not my favorite, but this deck, there's no such card. Pentacles green. That lovely yellow green of spring. Again, perfect deck for this time of year. Love this Eight of Pentacles. I think this is a really clever way to do these as well. The Pentacles, where they're all grouped together like that, but not the stereotypical coins. It suits these images. Okay, so that is the deck. Again, really beautiful deck. I'm going to move it off to the side, but that is the Shadowscapes Tarot. Again, it was first published in 2010. It's readily available. I like the, um, I waited to get a copy that was, um, this is the size borders and the color of the borders that I enjoy. And I'm fine with these images because um, some people say, they, the images are a little bit too small to see all the detail, but I, I don't have any problem with that. Plus, I have the, um, the book. So let's... So this is the case. Um, again, this was a Kickstarter project, and I just... I think this is the first time that I became familiar with her work. So this is kind of just some of the sketches of her art. This came... This was done in 2016, some of these sketches. So this was a, a bit ago, but that's fun to have. These are some of my favorite images of hers are the, um, the birds with the masks. I, re I really, really love that. And then it's just a ribbon pull to get the book out. We'll move this out of the way. This goes on my fairy tale shelf. So I think we'd be able to see most of the, the um, images. It's a metallic silver color, plain back, plain except for Ella Hatter. 
And then it came with this lovely print. Uh, she does have a website and products are available on her website if you're interested in that. And then this was book 294. Let's see, you can't see that. There we go. 294 of 400 and then it's a signed copy which is really wonderful. And then we go into the artwork. Again, absolutely magical, magical realms. She, she captures the energy of everything, of botany, of insects, of these fantastical creatures. I mean, you know, the golden rings and these lovely, it's just, it gives us, an, I think, an eye view of what the world really looks like if we pay attention if we really take the time to look. And um, so some of these are the vellum paper. I, I probably won't go through the whole book just um, because, but I wanted to let you know that it existed and that she has a website and that you can um, buy some prints and such at her website if you are called to this work. But um, I love this with the keys as well. So that gives you a feel for her work. I, I love, um, I just continue through the decades to love what she's been doing. Absolutely magical. So let's see, let's just, there's a couple I want to share. Look, I mean, look at that world. Not many people can capture this kind of fairyland. It's a, a true gift to us, a, a talent of hers and a gift to us. There's a couple. I love the, the botanicals as well. Again, it captures the feeling of, this reminds me of you know, our yards when we were growing up and that kind of thing about how there were fairies in the garden and, you know, my mother making us aware of them and celebrating them. And she would take us into magical shops and like places called the Mists of Avalon and that kind of thing, Avalon Visions and, um, and buy fairy rings. And she did that for my children as well. So we, we all believe in fairies. We all leave offerings for the fairies. Her dragonflies are astounding. Her bees are astounding. You know, just absolutely stunning. So that is the artwork. There's another beautiful dragonfly. Every image surpasses the last. Doesn't matter what order you look in because it's just so magical. So I hope you enjoyed the look through the, it's called Decants and Cadences, The Art of Stephanie Law. Just in case, I don't know, again, this was a limited edition book. I don't know if they're available at all. But also, you can get your little piece of art with the Shadowscapes Tarot. Thanks for joining me today. Please remember to like and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.